Good morning. <laughs> and welcome as we gather to celebrate our sacred mysteries. At the beginning of this day and at the beginning of our prayer, we bless ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and the Lord be with you. My friends, before hearing God's word and before processing to this banquet table, may we be mindful of our sinfulness, may we be confident in God's compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray your name to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sinfulness, and bring each of us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And we pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who is taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call on our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord cried loud for me to hear. Come, you scourges of the city. In fact, I saw six men coming from the direction of the upper gate, which faces the north, each with a destroying weapon in his hand. In their midst was a man dressed in linen, with a writer's cape at his waist. They entered and stood beside the bronze altar. Then he called the man dressed in linen with the writer's cape at his waist, saying to him, Pass through the city, through Jerusalem, and mark a sow on the forehead of those who moan and groan over all the abomination that are practiced within it. To the other, I heard the Lord say, Pass through the city after him, and strike. Do not look on them with pity, nor show any mercy. Old men, youths and maidens, women and children, wipe them out. But do not touch any marks of the crowd and begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the men and the elders who were in the front of the temple. Defile the temple, he said to them, and fill the court with the slain. Then go out and strike the city. Then the glory of the Lord left the threshold of the temple and rested upon the cherubim. These lifted their wings and saw them rise from the earth and the wheels rising along with them. They stood at the entrance of the eastern gate of the Lord's house and the glory of the God of Israel was above them. Then the cherubim lifted their wings and the wheels along with them. Well, up above them, was the glory of the God of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord is higher than the sky. 
the glory of the Lord is higher than the sky. Praise your servants of the Lord, and praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The glory of the Lord is higher than the sky. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. The glory of the Lord is higher than the sky. High above all nations is the Lord, and above the heavens is his glory. The glory of the Lord is higher than the sky. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high? and looks upon the heavens and the earth below. The glory of the Lord is higher than the sky.
saying to us today, if you have a problem with someone, go to them. Tell them the story. And then if the two of you cannot make um, a resolution, then find somebody who might be able to help you with that. One thing, my friends, that I talk about often in my ministry is that we have regrets and we know that we may have made mistakes and maybe we um, are angry at ourselves for not doing it differently, for not doing it better. And I get people every day saying, Father, I wish um, that God would forgive me of this sin or this regret or this disappointment. And I say, what is keeping you from accepting the forgiveness of God? That is what he celebrates. God is a God of mercy and a God of love and a God of not a God of judgment. That's why I tell people don't live in the past because we can do nothing more about the past. And that's when I say that's the reason the rearview mirror is this big and the windshield is this big. We don't live in the past don't dwell on the past. We realize that God has loved us, God has forgiven us, and God will bring us to life eternal. Remember this last line of the scripture today. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. That's something to celebrate. Praise God. confidence in God's mercy, we present our needs and those of the world to our loving Father. For the gift of unity in the church, that God, God's laws of love and forgiveness may be in our hearts and in our minds and written upon our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our hearts, in our homes, and in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have asked for our prayers, and for those in special need of prayer. That Jesus may restore what is withered in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering, that they may find comfort and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Charlotte Ann Bevington, Ellis, and for William Woodsack, whom we are remembering in a special way during this May. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the parish prayer line, the intentions in the parish prayer box, and for our very own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we offer all these prayers to your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have these gifts of bread and wine to offer, which earth has given human hands have made. May they become for us the bread of life and our spiritual drink. Sisters and brothers, that by sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God our Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. With angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we now pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new call, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our local bishop, the clergy, and especially your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Michael the Archangel, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As Jesus taught, so again this day we pray our Father. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May the communion, <coughs> may the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May our loving God bless us this holy day, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, our last is Holy and walk in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, everyone.